You are 30 minutes away from feeling like the bomb and building stronger legs and abs. Welcome to our strength building lower body and abs workout. This workout today is really gonna target all of our lower body muscles as well as the core obliques and abs. And the only thing you need for this workout is your mat or cushy surface. We are going to use our dumbbells. We have some additional optional pieces of equipment as well. That is going to be your sliders. If you do not have sliders, I'm gonna show you a modification. Also your resistance, your mini resistance band or booty band. We will add those to a few of the exercises and a chair. So I'm just using my kitchen, my kitchen chair. You can use that. You can use a couch, a bed, a workout bench, anything you have. We will use this for one of the, well, two of the exercises. We're going to work one leg and then the other, but the structure for this workout is going to come up right here for you. And this workout today is we are going to work in supersets. So supersets, if that is new to you, we are gonna work two exercises back to back with no recovery in between. After those two exercises, we will get a short recovery. But the first exercises we are gonna go into is a sumo squat. And then we're gonna, so sumo squat just like this, and then we're gonna walk our legs in and do a regular squat down and up. So pick a weight that is gonna challenge you for this workout today. We are gonna get right into this if you are using your watch. You can start that right now and let's do this. Getting ready for sumo squat, chest is up. Here we go, down and up. Squeeze, and when I say squeeze, that means squeeze the glutes right here at the top. Push your hips forward a little bit. You're gonna feel that inner thigh activate as well as your glute muscles. But we have got the quads working right now. We have got the hamstrings. Whew, it's a beautiful thing, outer thighs as well but make sure you've got proper form. We're gonna get ready to go right into a squat. So get ready to grab your dumbbells for that if you need to adjust. A few seconds left, which means just a few reps. Last one, down and up. Getting ready for that squat. Down and squeeze again, squeeze the glutes. Working full range of motion for you. So go down as far as you can and then squeeze back up. If you're feeling it in your knees, don't go quite as low in this move. And you can always modify the squats, even though we will do glute bridges in a bit. Glute bridge is an awesome modification for a squat if you find this is challenging your knees. We're gonna get 30 seconds here. In just a few seconds, last rep and up, perfect. Whew. That was first superset. We've got that once more through, so if you need to adjust your dumbbells, you can do that now. Also keep in mind, if you need to take longer recovery at any time, make sure to listen to your body and do that. This is your workout, and this workout will always be here for you to come back if you don't get it exactly how you want it this first time through. And if you don't, that is totally fine because that is what these workouts are here for, to challenge you. Ooh, getting your weight for sumo squat. Let's begin. Down and squeeze. Make sure your shoulders are rolled down and back away from your ears, not hunched forward. Keep it down and back. You can even think about pushing your chest out just a bit here to make sure it's staying open and those shoulders are back and down. Good. Breathing. Good, less than 10 seconds, you're almost there. We go right back into that squat. Last one, perfect. Right into squat. Down and squeeze, good. Weight stays in the heels. Don't fall forward into this move at all. Keep your chest up again, nice and strong here. Down and squeeze. Almost there. Squeeze, good. If you have a mirror to check your form, make sure to do that in those exercises just every once in a while. That can sometimes give you a different view. Last one, perfect, 30 seconds. We're going into round two. Now this is where you'll need your chair. So grab your chair or move closer to your bed or couch. I'm gonna turn it this way just a little bit. 
What we're gonna do is a single leg lunge. So you can use weight and hold it up here, and we're just gonna lower down and up. So keeping your chest up, grab your weight for this. One leg and then the other. Here we go. So just tapping that bum right down. Good. Modification, if this is too much, just do both legs here, down and up. That totally works as well. Perfect. If not, we're just gonna get ready to switch to that other side, down and up. Perfect. Really working the quad on this move. The glute as well. But as you lower down, keep your chest up. Last one. Perfect, switching sides. And squeeze. Good. Use that leg that the weight is on to press back up through your heel. We get to do this one more time through. So if you need to adjust your weight after this to go heavier or lighter, you'll get to do that. Ooh, more than halfway. And press, good. Almost there. Oh, losing a headphone. Hello. Last one. Perfect. All right, 30 seconds. I'm gonna get this weight out of here. I'm gonna move my chair back just a little bit. Face a different angle this time. Grab your weight if you need to adjust. I'm actually gonna go a little bit lighter. This time through. All right, getting ready to go. Get into position, chest is up. Here we go, just tapping that bum and squeezing back up. Perfect. Again, you can do this without weight and you will still feel it for sure. But weight is in this heel for that leg that is taking the weight. This leg in front here is just for extra balance. Good, squeeze the core and press. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Down and up. Down and up, right into the other side. Good, here we go. Anytime you need to take a break, dry off, do so. 30 minutes today though, to really work it out. And we will feel like the bomb after this. The stairs tomorrow might be interesting, but hey, that's leg day for you. Plus the bonus of abs. Good, lift and lower. Last time through for this. Less than 10. Good, almost there, last one, and up. Oh, amazing job, you can set your weights off to the side because all we need now is a band if you have that. We're gonna work the front of your leg and the outside here of our leg. I am actually going to keep my chair in this exercise for balance. We're gonna put the band right above our knees. Again, if you do not have a band, you can do this without. Just think about contracting those muscles. We're gonna lift front, and then we're gonna lift out to the side. And then we'll switch sides. Here we go. Front, good, and out. Front, slight bend in this knee on the ground. Core is engaged, chest is up. And up, perfect, and out. This resistance band's band really just gives you that little extra oomph in this move. Good, to really help to strengthen those muscles. Perfect. Oh my goodness, almost there, and we're just gonna switch sides. Last one. Switch that chair right around. Other side now. Oh, hello. Let the legs come in too close. Again, slight bend in this knee for the leg that is on the ground and out. Oh, amazing. Breathing. 
We'll go once more through this exercise. And lift, perfect. And out, a few seconds, you've got it, out. Last one, out to the side. Rest it out for a minute, grab a drink, dry off. I need to dry off, oh my goodness. I knew it was leg day, but I did not know it was gonna be a sweat fest as well. All right, switching sides, because we're gonna go right back in to that next exercise, or right back into the same exercise, but opposite side. We got about 10 seconds. The legs are feeling good, they are awake. All right, so front, out to side, here we go. Front. Maybe I'm just not feeling good on that one, and out. Good, and lift. And lift, perfect. Keep your chest up, core engaged. Good. And lift, well over halfway. We have got just a few reps left. Almost there, we're gonna switch sides. Last one out to the side, perfect. Going right into it, front to side. Make sure you're controlling this move. Up, up, and out here. So don't let the resistance band, if you're using that, pull your leg back in. Control it back in here, and then out and control it in. Good, and out, core is engaged and lift, oh, almost there, you get 30 seconds after this. You are rocking it out, last one, perfect. Rest it out, we can, get the, we can get the band out of here and we can get the chair out of here as well for right now because we are getting ready to move it on to the ground floor glute bridge. So you'll use weight for glute bridge and also this is where you will use your sliders if you have those. So grab those two things and we're gonna bring it on down you can bring your band as well for this move if you wanna add this. All right, bringing it down, putting your band on if you wanna use this right above your knees. And we're getting ready for glute bridge. Get those weights up, here we go. Lift, squeeze, weight is in the heels, and lower. Lift and squeeze, good, and lower. So after glute bridge here, we are gonna go into heel slides. So we're gonna be uplifted in this glute position right here, and we're gonna slide those heels out. If you do not have the slider, you're gonna walk one heel out, back in, and then walk the other side in and out. We've got just a few seconds. Last one, squeeze, hold it up. Perfect, set your weights off to the side. Again, you can keep this band on. It's gonna add a little bit of extra resistance. Walking it out in the glute bridge will be just like this, out and in, out and in. So we'll switch sides. If not, we've got the sliders right under our heels. We're lifted, we're sliding out and back in. Out, keep those hips up. Really working the hamstrings on this move. And out, good. Keep that pressure on the heel as you slide out. Good, core is engaged as well. One more each side, and then we'll get a quick recovery. Out, good, slide it out. Last one, and in, perfect, bring it down. Whew. Can really feel this resistance band does add a little bit more to that move. And set your plates off to, off to the side. We're getting ready to go back into glute bridge. If you need to adjust your weight, do it now. I am challenging you, I want you to go heavy enough. This is the halfway part mark, this is round four. Getting into position, lower it down, glute bridge, here we go. Squeeze it, hold it up, knees in line with toes, weight is in the heels, and squeeze, perfect. Last time through for this exercise, and squeeze, good. And press, squeeze, hold. Over halfway. Come on, you've got this. We're gonna go back into those slides or walkouts. Almost there. 
Hold it, three, two, one. Set your weights off to the side. Grab your sliders quickly. Put them right under those heels. Lift it back up into that high glute bridge position. And we're gonna slide it out and in. Out, ah, don't, oh my girl, slider, what are you doing? <laughs> out and in. The sliders can be tricksters sometimes, I'll tell you what. You think your foot's on it and then all of a sudden you're dragging your heel across the floor. <laughs> Not the best. Good, squeeze. Almost there. Can you feel the hamstring? Oh my word. Oh, last one, out and pull. Perfect, lower it down. 30 seconds, we get to stay down here again, but we do not need the weights. We will use the band, so if you want that added challenge, we are gonna flip it on over. I'm just gonna set these off to the side because we are running out of rest here. Dry off, grab a drink again if you need to. I'm gonna show you the first exercise. Flip it onto your belly here. We're gonna lift the legs. We're gonna press out, in and down. Lift, out, in and down. So join me here. Modification is no band. You can also lift one leg and then the other with no press out if you want to modify. And down, good. Over halfway. So now we're working into the lower back a little bit to work those muscles as well as the glute. And out, good. And we're also working our abductor muscles. Good. Now we're gonna go right into a plank to a leg lift. So it's gonna look like this, plank, lift, and lift, good. Alternating sides, you can do this without the band, you can just hold this plank as well. But now we're working the lower body and the core. Shoulders are in line here, core engaged and lift. Amazing job. And lift, and lift, good. Again, working the glutes. Working that behind side. One more each side. And lift, perfect. Lower it down, rest for 30 seconds, and we get to do it again. We got quite a few of those little moves, big burns in this one today. Did that make sense? It's gonna do, you know what I meant. <laughs> I've said it before. <laughs> we got a lot of those exercises. Going back into that. So if you need to modify it all, if you want an added challenge, add the band, flipping it over. <sighs> Lower leg lift to abduction, lift. Keep those feet flexed and lift out, back in and down. Good, nice slow and controlled through this whole move. And out. Whew, good. Almost there, we'll go right back into that plank. I'm so glad you decided to work out with me today. You're pushing me along right now because, oh my word, I am on fire. I don't know about you. Oh, here we go, lift and lift. Lift, perfect, and lift. Over halfway, so close, you're gonna get that rest. And lift. As you lift, don't let your hips roll from side to side. Make sure they're still square to the floor. And lift, last one. Lift and lower. Oh, 30 seconds, amazing job. We're gonna go into a side plank now. So we're gonna work the obliques with the core. No band, we are done with this band. I think we're done with this band for good, so see you later. No more sliders either. We're gonna go into a side plank lift. So we'll be out, we'll be lift, and rotate in. Back up, down, and rotate in. Begin now, this is the modification. We'll be up, twist, 
and up. So you can do it either way. And then we're just gonna switch sides and up. Drop it down, rotate. Good. Lots of action on this one. And twist. Good, working different planes of motion through this whole, or whole workout too. Good, so we're working our balance muscles. We got it all right now. Ooh. Last one, we're gonna switch sides. Perfect, right over to the other side. Same thing, modification down on that bottom knee. When you're up here, shoulders are stacked in line with the elbows. Good. More than halfway. I feel like I did two twists there. Almost there. Come on, finish this rep out. Good, rest it out. 30 seconds. Oh, we're gonna go in that again. Drying off if you need to, grab a drink. Working one side and then the other. And then we have two rounds to go after this. So getting back into position. Oh, breathing. Here we go. Lifting it up. Rotate. Down. Good. Rotate. If at any time you need to take that modification, go ahead and grab that. Just as long as you're keeping form right. That is what counts. Good, halfway. Really feeling those oblique muscles right now. As you lift those hips up, don't let them sag down. Get them up, rotate, and down. Perfect, switch sides right away, right into that other side. This is it for this move. And down, good. Down, squeeze, and up. Perfect, over halfway, and rotate. Don't forget to breathe, we're so close. A couple more reps. Last one, down, up, rotate, and recover. We're gonna bring it back up. Finish out the legs, so we have one more round of lower body, one more round of abs, and then boom, you did it. So bring it on up. Oh, we're feeling shaky. <laughs> we have got a toes out calf raise. So we're gonna turn those toes out at an angle. We're gonna lift and lower, and then we're gonna walk those legs out to do a sumo RDL. So we're gonna go down and up. So grab your dumbbells and let's begin. <sighs> So toes out here, and we're gonna lift and lower here for these calf muscles. Keeping chest up, shoulders down and rolled back. Good. Hold it up for just a second. Contract those calf muscles and lower down. So think about that lower half of your leg working. Good, and squeeze. Squeeze right into Romanian deadlift next. So if you need to adjust your weight, do that. Sumo Romanian deadlift, I should say. We're walking the legs out, and here we go. Down, lower slowly, core engaged. Squeeze, perfect. So then turn to the side. So it's just like that sumo squat. Legs are out wide, toes are out. Dumbbells stay close. Just sliding here, the weight down and in, good. Core is engaged, back is flat. Perfect. Oh, yes. So close, few reps left. Actually, last rep. I forget how long it takes to go through one round of, or one set. 
one rep of Romanian deadlifts. 30 seconds, we go right back into that. If you need to adjust your weight, you can do that now. Breathing, 15 seconds. So again, we're gonna work toes out, calf raise. Getting ready to go in four, three, roll those shoulders down and back, and here we go. You can also do this move without weight. I just wanna mention that as well. You can use your chair as balance if you need to, or the wall. Good, up on the toes, hold it, and then control it back down. And squeeze, perfect. Keep that chest up. And lift. Few seconds, sumo Romanian deadlift. Last one, perfect, walk those legs out. Here we go. Last exercise for lower body and squeeze. We hit abs to finish us out. Finish us out, make us stronger, I should say. Good, and squeeze. Your bomb.com meter should be uh, working its way towards full at this point. And squeeze, good. I am being so cheesy right now, obviously. Oh dear. <laughs> last one. Good. No weight for these last two exercises, but we will be on the ground. So find your mat. I'm gonna get my weight away. The two exercises we are going into will be a dead bug. And then we're gonna do, so we'll do a dead bug and then we'll be, have our feet up and we're just gonna do a crunch. So feet at 90 degrees for that dead bug. We'll be out alternating sides here. And then we'll go into that crunch. Here we go. Good. Slow and controlled. Opposite arm to opposite leg. Modification, you can do the arm, you can alternate arm, arm, leg, leg, however you need to. You can even just hold this position stationary right there as well. We're gonna get ready to go into that crunch, legs at 90 degrees. Modification, you're gonna put those legs down on the ground, almost there. Good, last one. Hold the legs up, hands come behind head, and crunch. Modification, you are down here, breathing. Every time you lift, breathe it out. Again, think about bringing rib cage to your pelvis hip area here and squeezing. Good, squeeze, perfect. Breathe out, come on over halfway. That means we have one round left. Good, squeeze, almost there. Arms out wide. You are not just crunching your neck with this move. We are using these ab muscles. Squeeze, good, lower it down, take a break. We need to do that once more through. Oh, amazing job. We are so close. We are just over a minute to go in this workout. <sighs> Breathing, grab a drink, dry off, get back into position. We've got that 90 degree angle here with the legs, arms up straight, dead bug, here we go. <sighs> Control it down and up. <sighs> Good. Whew. I am doing same leg now. <laughs> I take one breather and there we go. So close. <sighs> Breathing. A few more seconds. Last one, bend those knees, hands behind your head, crunch it up. Again, modification, you've got your feet flat on the ground. Control this up and down and squeeze. 
You can even place your hand right here on your abs as you feel that move. Squeeze, hold it for a second. Feel that contraction. Think about those abs working over halfway. You have almost made it. <sighs> Yay for pressing play on this one. You are rocking it out. You are getting stronger. You are showing up to be the best you can be. And I love that. <sighs> Last one. <gasps> oh my goodness. We did it. You did it. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. I love leg day. And that was, oh yeah, burning. We're gonna have fun with the stairs tomorrow. It's gonna be fun when we laugh because we're gonna remember this workout. <laughs> And I cannot thank you enough for joining me, but not quite done. We got dessert. Don't skip dessert. It's delicious. So right over there, that is your stretch. Or if you want to keep on keeping on, we got that right there for you. And I will see you at either one of those. I love you.